Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kevin with video number three on the day. Um, I had alluded to in a past video, guys, that I was looking to try something different and react to something that I had already listened to uh, and explain why it was great. Um, so I don't know what this series will be called. called. It's probably going to be, uh, you know, Tom McDonald, or best rapper ever, Tom McDonald, uh, why it's great. And, uh, and we'll try stuff like that. So best rapper ever. This was, I believe, the fourth song I listened to by Tom. It's the one that really hit home with me. Uh, I really liked this video. I really liked the song itself. The video is just truly awesome. Uh, there's been a lot of reviews and reactions to this video over the last um, couple days. I mean, I've alluded to the fact that I like uh, watching average middle-aged white guy. He uh, makes some great videos, and he's reacted to this. He did a reaction video, and uh, I actually didn't listen to it. Uh, I wanted to listen to it. I saw the length, and I have seen this video and listened to the song quite a bit. And then I kind of said, you know what? If I'm going to start doing something different on here, why not start with Tom McDonald? Why not start with this song? So this is going to be a little bit more of a deeper dive into the uh, listening to songs and reacting to them because I've already listened to it. The words I'm more familiar with. I'm not questioning lyrics. I'm not having to backtrack things like that so often. So this could be fun and uh, let's get to it. Obviously, if you've heard Best Rapper Ever, it's a wonderful song. You're about to experience it yourself and uh, and we'll, we'll start this off. Hello, Thomas. I see that you're depressed. What's the problem? Is it the skeletons you're hiding deep inside your closet? So this right here, I mean, like a great start already. Like I always allude to, I mean, we're barely eight seconds in and we're already pausing. But this is great. This is is Tom showing vulnerability, showing doubt, showing concern about where he's going in his life, kind of just toiling in his bed wondering. And here is that conscience of his that's going to always be the pain in his ass. Uh, you know, maybe the... Uh, you know, the, the angel on the left left shoulder and uh, the devil on the right kind of thing. And uh, and I think that's really cool. So a uh, great, great thing visually. Um, I mean, for Nova and Tom to be doing this, like this is uh, this is good production quality right here. So a uh, really good start to the song. And again, I, I'm not uh, pretending I've, I haven't listened to this song. Um, but again, I'm pretty sure you're, you're already interested in this one. Have you been reading all the names they call you in the comments? Have you been worried your haters will put you in the coffin? Are you distraught that you promised vodka was not an option? Now you're having thoughts of doing shots, Tom. You're in <sighs> so that was a tough one, too. Are you distraught that you promised that vodka was not an option? So you know what? No, I'm done. I'm completely done with alcohol. And uh, you stick with it and everything is good for a couple days and then you start having those thoughts. I mean, there's once or twice a day that uh, I, I think, hey, I can't wait to get home and have a drink. And, and the reality is, is I, you know, those thoughts are very brief. They don't last very long. They're not, uh, they're not thought about multiple times a day, but, um, you know, they're, they're there. And this guy is in all of our heads, right? I mean, this is that, that, that side of us that wants to rebel, that wants to remind ourselves that, you know what, we're not doing good enough. We need to be better and, uh, and not in a positive way. Is that true? You're upset that you can't have booze? What's the matter, Thomas? Something's got you in a bad mood. Yeah, it does. I'm anxious. Nothing calms me down like Xanax does. So there, here again, Tom, nothing calms me down like Xanax does. And, uh, you know, saying he's anxious. We, we um, you know, we've, we've talked about, uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did the song Anxiety. I did a video for that, a reaction video. It's actually spoken words by Tom. And I guess it wasn't recording. So when that happened, I decided to just try this new series and move over here to Best Rapper Ever. So, um, you know, that song, spoken word song, Anxiety, where Tom's talking about having those struggles. And uh, and here they are. They're, they're being brought back. Everything good in Tom's life, the, the success he's having, he's still dealing with this uh, this little demon here who's reminding of him who he was and uh, and his frailties even with the person he is now. Does, but I can't even relapse because the internet will laugh at us. I just need a beer to... That right there is a great line too, guys. Like, you know, even for someone like myself, I mean, I have a, a very awesome fan base in terms of my subscribers. You guys are very passionate. You're very, very, uh, you know, you guys are take up a lot of the comment section, which is great. I really love that. And I appreciate every single one of you. Um, but the Internet will laugh at us. The Internet will laugh at us. I mean, I've already acknowledged the fact that I'm struggling with uh, alcoholism from time to time and that I'm I'm just, you know, less than two months of having not drink. So, uh, you know, you put yourself out there, you 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 
you know, you let people see your, your vulnerable side. And I mean, like, if you make a screw up or you, you know, if I do one of these, I'm slurring my words and I'm clearly drunk. I mean, I like to think that my fan base wouldn't judge me, but let's face it. I mean, some people are going to say you're hypocritical. And uh, so here's Tom saying, you know what, it'd be nice to maybe have like a, you know, a beer or two and, uh, and, and just have fun. But I mean, like people are going to know about that and I can't, I've put myself out there. I've said, I've said that I'm sober and people are banking on me and I got to be that leader. And there's a lot of pressure that comes with that. I just need a beer or two, but it's been like a year or two. So I just need a beer or two, but it's been like a year or two. Sorry guys, I jumped the gun on that. I, uh, I thought that lyric was already said. I thought you disappeared. I can't believe that I'm still here with you. Shut up. My therapist said me and you can't speak again. I locked the devil up, but it was you who let the demons. See, my 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 therapist said me and you can't speak again. Which what terrible therapist would say that? I mean, like we we are always going to be reminded of our past. No therapist would say, hey, you just have to focus on the good. You just have to focus with being sober. Don't think of your past. I mean, it's there, and uh, and there's some just some really really amazing lyrics here. And again. I think you can like this song, whether you're having a beer, listening to it, uh, whether you're smoking a joint, it doesn't make you bad by, by, by listening to this song and enjoying it, no matter what you're doing. But I really do feel that people that are struggling with any sort of alcoholism or any sort of addiction, uh, this song really hits home. And these words really hit home, both from both guys. Like, let's face it. I mean, I know both guys are Tom, but uh, both characters here are saying some truly powerful stuff. <laughs> Comedian, I'm only gonna tell you once you really need to be my friend. No! Walking alone in the darkness, sharks in the water, a sky full of vultures. The bathroom have been giving you pills because the pressure you're under been giving you ulcers. Shut up. Let me remind you, I'm independent because I'm the guy who does anything that I want and goes viral. You're independent because no one will sign you. That's a great line right there, too, where Tom's saying, like, I'm independent because... You know, uh, you know, I don't need, I don't need these record labels. Like, uh, I do my own thing, and this guy's reminding him, you're, you're, uh, you're independent because no one will sign you. Uh, I don't think that's the case. I think there's a lot of people that would like to sign Tom, but I really do think, again, Tom is so self, self-aware. He knows what the the haters think of him. It's uneducated hate because I guarantee you, if you give Tom an actual shot, you wouldn't hate him. Uh, and I doubt that you would would stop listening to his music either. I think people just need to give everybody a chance right like uh, our past doesn't define us but uh tom definitely deserves uh, a shot in everybody's books and i mean like if you want to hate on something that's fine but give something a shot and give them a reason to hate on i hate people that just say hey look at this guy look look at it. you know his his braids his his facial tattoos i mean look past it guys it just if you listened on the radio and heard him his music you'd say who the hell is that guy because i want to hear more of his music but if you see him in a video or you see his picture you immediately hate just silly you got a YouTube no one subscribes to. Uh, no, they subscribe. <laughs> I'm not another person you can lie to. I'll be the greatest as long as the sky's Liar! Come on, Thomas, keep it real. You're the liar. I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel. I'm the best rapper ever. I don't want to be great. If they're the best, then I'm better. Don't you make no mistake. Because I'm the gold. Feel it in my bones. That's a lot of balls. I'm the one who pulls the sword out of the storm. So, um, obviously I've heard this song, uh, you've heard the chorus now, guys. I feel like the chorus is just a little different than the rest of the song. It's almost like, you see the video, Best Rapper Ever, you start listening to this song and you're saying like, where's the connection? You know, like, um, I think this is, and again, I have some commenters here that would probably be able to break down this video even better than me, even though I've seen this video a few times here. Um, but I feel like that's, that's that, that one Tom is telling himself, I'm the best rapper ever. I got to give myself credit for this. I got to, I got to let you guys know that I know I'm awesome and I got to beat this devil here and, uh, and let him know that I'm aware I'm awesome and I can come back. So I'm the best rapper ever, you know? I kind of feel like that's where he's going with the chorus. I kind of like the chorus with, again, the synthesizer there um, where, uh, you know, his, his voice is projecting pretty high. It's pretty cool. And uh, again, I just, uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not shitting on the chorus here. I'm not uh, not liking it. I just find that with the, with the subject matter of what's going on in this song, um, you know, to be called best rapper ever, it's just kind of a, a different sort of name, you know, like if you know a little bit more about the video and the breakdown of it, let me know. But like I said, I have seen this quite a few times. So let's continue. Thomas, 
I'm still here. I practically smell the fear. That's a great line, too. I know all the reasons why you feel so insecure. I've seen you panic backstage, hearing everybody cheer. You're famous now, Thomas. Tell me what's with all the tears. So that was a good line, too, about reminding Tom about being nervous backstage. Like, you're literally performing in front of the Hangover Gang, your most devout, probably the biggest fan base in all of music right now. I don't know. I mean, like, I, I truly believe that, like, just judging by YouTube, both this channel and other people's channels, uh, Tom's fan base is huge. But, you know, you got your fan base there. They're cheering Tom. They're ready for you, for you to hit the stage. And you're struggling. You're struggling with anxiety. You're struggling with whatever it is to, how am I going to get on stage? How am I not going to let these people down? Everything that comes with thinking about that kind of stuff in your mind is a struggle. And it prevents you from getting on that stage and, and, and pushing forward. So I really like that. I also like the the height of, of the demon here, uh, as well as Tom being, you know, looking up to this thing. And it's it's pretty imposing. Shut up. Do you regret that your face is covered with tattoos? Mad that your beats whack? All your raps trash too? Shut up! Do you resent that you need meds again, neglected friends, and now you just pretend you're not pathetic? You're not Eminem! Yes. Great friggin' line. You're not Eminem. You know what? I don't think Tom ever cared to be Eminem. I, I can see through his music that um, Tom has created his own path, his own style. He has not ripped off some other musician. Eminem is certainly not him. Um, I really like how Tom is willing, like these lyrics from this this demon here are clearly coming from, from Tom writing these lyrics down. So, so Tom is bringing up things he thinks about himself. You know, your beats suck, things like that. Hey, we don't agree, Tom, your beats don't suck. But you know what? He's acknowledging, you know what? Maybe it could be better. And that's, that's getting into Tom's head. That's, that's, that's hearing more as to what makes him Tom and what makes him this fantastic individual who is, has, has really um, motivated all of us and really got a following. Uh, it's, it's wild. It's one of those days. Don't know why I don't feel okay. It's one of those days. Don't know why I feel, I don't feel okay. I mean, some days you can't do it. You know, you, you're, you're, I've had times where I'm looking forward to a certain day, uh, you know, my kid's second birthday, I remember that day, I was looking forward to it, to it so much, and I just woke up that morning, I was just kind of blah, like I just didn't know what was going on, I just, I was struggling, and you know what, I mean, we still went about the birthday party, and my kid had a fantastic day, he smiled all day long, which was wonderful, but like, it hits you in weird ways, man, you know, you could prepare all your, you know, for weeks for, for a certain day, and I mean, when that day comes, you're, you're, you're not looking forward to it anymore. You're struggling. You can't motivate yourself to do it. It's, it's, it's preoccupied so much of your thought process for weeks and weeks, and you just struggle. Uh, so I could totally relate to that line. Close both eyes and focus on pain. Blows my mind alone in my brain. I smell smoke from all of those flames. Fell in holes and hope for my grave. They told me smell the roses, but I burned the whole bouquet. Tom, you'll never win the fight against your hater as long as I listen. Because I read every single comment that you try missing. That is a terrific line right there, too, because here we are acknowledging that Tom McDonald is really, really trying to focus on the good, right? I mean, you see the comments section, good and bad, you focus on the good, and I'll tell you, man, like, for me even, too, I mean, you can have 25 comments that are awesome, and you have one that's, that's negative, and it just ruins your day. And I mean, that's not the case. I think I've gotten a lot of thicker skin, thanks to you guys. Um... I'm much better with this. I'm open to constructive criticism. Uh, if you're just going to be negative and shit on something, then you know what? I guess that's the world we live in anyway. So let's face it. It's going to happen. We got we to gotta push through that and, and push through those people. But um, I think that's some really powerful stuff that Tom just threw out there. Then recite them in your mind and memorize this. I'm a giant, Thomas. Why are you trying to fight with me? I'm different. Don't care about a height difference. I might win it. Show up to a gunfight and I swing it. I have the darkness. Yeah, I got night vision. I've been fighting my tongue. And that friggin' line right, too. Right there. Like, <sighs> let's just backtrack it. That was a great line. I, 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 I liked that the first time I heard it. Don't care about a height difference. I might win it. Show up to a gunfight and I swing it. I have the darkness. Yeah, I got night vision. I am the darkness. Yeah, I got night vision. Freaking awesome. And it's pretty cool, too, because he's looking at the guy through night vision. I've been biting my tongue in the blood from my cuts. I've been filling my stomach. I suffer because they don't show love and I'm humble. So now I just do this for all of my family and all of my brothers. Fire! The record for yourself. It ain't for them. Your selfish motivations are the reasons you're depressed. I'm doing fine. You need to chill. You need to take more of those pills. Take a breath and tell us all just exactly how you feel. I'm the best rapper ever. I don't want to be great. If they're the best, then I'm better. Don't you make no mistake. Because I'm the goal. I 
I like what Tom's doing there. As you guys know, he's a former pro wrestler. And, you know, pro wrestlers are all about their, you know, muscling up and looking cool and stuff. I really like that that pose from him. It's uh, it's pretty cool. I don't care what you say. I'm the bitchy. I'm forever. I'm designed for the fame. Because I'm the gold. Get the kid and throne. Everybody knows. Only voices that I'm hearing are my own best ever. Tom, let's work together. You know how good we can be. Don't deny it. Just try it. Okay, fine. Repeat after me. Fine. Hi, my name is Thomas. All I want to be an artist. I need help from all my demons for my dreams to get accomplished. See, Tom, I'm just what you need. We're a team. Disagree? Go ahead, cut your wrists and make your demons bleed. <laughs> no! I need to do this by myself. I told you twice already exactly how I felt. I'm the best rapper ever. I don't want to be great. If they're the best, then I'm better. Don't you make no mistake. Because I'm the gold feeding. Guys, I want to backtrack that because I think this is the first time I've noticed that particular lyric, which is really sad because I have heard this song quite a bit. I'm going to backtrack just to the chorus. Does he say I'm the goat? I'm the goat, feel it in my bones. Is he saying that, guys? Uh, I know that he follows it up with a... Till I'm a ghost. So I don't know. I think he is saying goat, which is greatest of all time. And uh, oh, man, can we really argue that? Like, seriously, I don't know. This last month and a half, it'd be hard pressed to find me saying no to that. I'm the one that pulls the sword out of the stone. I never, never. Oh, man, I really got to start looking at the lyrics to these songs, especially when I have heard it a lot. But that is really good. Um, really, really clever wordplay there. I'm the best rapper ever, I don't care what you say. I'm the bitchy, I'm forever, I'm designed for the fame. Cause I'm the gold, get the kid and throne. Everybody knows, only voices that I'm hearing, I'm all best ever. You see that where the, where, where the faces were going back and forth too? You got the good, the bad. So that final verse, it looks like Tom has merged with that evil inside and, uh, making a blend of Tom McDonald, both good and bad. Uh, pretty neat, but I just want to backtrack that. Visually, it was pretty damn cool. Yeah, so you can see the dreads has disappeared to Tom here. Really, really cool. Video by Nova Rockefeller. We should have known it was going to be awesome, right? That's it, guys. Um, again, I absolutely love this song. I really do think I heard the song Church, No Response, and uh, Mac Lethal Sucks, and then Bas Best Rapper Ever. I believe those were the first four songs I heard in that order in terms of Tom McDonald. And uh, I really, really liked this one a lot. I, I liked all four of them, actually, but this one was pretty damn cool. And again, I've seen that uh, there's a couple other guys that I follow the reaction videos and they've done this one. So this is not my first time reaction. I am familiar with this song. I thought I would try something different, a little bit more of a study into the lyrics. If you guys were looking for something where you could listen to the song more, this probably wasn't it because I did pause this one a lot more than some of my other videos. And if I am going to continue doing these sort of things, uh, then I probably will do something similar. So be prepared if you did like this, that you know what, going forward with these ones, if it is a study on something I'm familiar with, then there will be a lot more of a breakdown. So if you're looking to enjoy the song uh, free of slowdowns and my terrible voice talking, then uh, you know what, just maybe check the video for yourself. Uh, or check someone else's reaction video, but, uh, you know, because there's a hell of a lot of awesome guys out there doing these, guys and girls, um, and you know what, maybe in one of my next videos, I'll kind of jot down some of the ones I'm listening to, but I think you guys already know them, because it seems like they're doing the same sort of thing as me, and again, um, I really, really don't want to ever have somebody accuse me of ripping their style, and uh, I want to create my own identity in terms of not just, uh, you know, copying and pasting what someone else is doing and it really is a challenge when I follow a lot of these people and I see their reaction videos and I say ah oh, all right well that was on my list but here they are doing it should I do that song or should I just watch this reaction video because I'm a fan too guys there's uh, 98 people I subscribe to so uh, I do like a lot lot of uh, variety of things whether it's mixed martial arts pro wrestling Tom McDonald music in general uh, there's a lot out there for me. So I really hope you guys liked this one. This was a little different for you guys. So if you did, leave a comment. If you like this more than my other style, if you just say, hey, Kev, you know what? Uh, not our favorite. 
give it to me. Um, I am I'm totally up for constructive criticism. Uh, I want to also let you guys know, I, I do know a few of you guys have commented on the sound here. I am working on an external microphone. I am going to look into some different software than what I'm currently using, and I hope that gives the sound a little bit better for you guys. <coughs> but the reality is that I've kind of tended to focus more on songs that we're going to be a little quieter for you guys than super loud and staticky. So going forward, I think maybe I will just focus on more loud and let you guys adjust the sound on your end so that you, you hear the song better and my voice is a little more quiet. So hope you guys liked it. If you did, like I said, comment, let me know. Click like, subscribe, and uh, hopefully we'll do more of these. Take care, guys. Really hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.